This is a video to show how to dismantle a Ryobi ERS800K reciprocating saw or saw saw or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the blade was stuck and by this video, end of the video you'll be able to see why. I cut the cover off mine because I knew I had to get the front off it and I didn't know how. I mistakenly uh, pulled this off and there was no need for it but I can put it back together again. So that would normally be in place with a um, a pin through there and there's a spring-loaded little doodaddy behind it as well which I can't figure out what it does anyway if you take I brutalized mine by taking the cover off but if you make a hole there or try and peel the cover back you'll meet that hex key that allen key there so if you take that allen key out with his left hand You can then take off this part here. You can then take off that cover there. And when that there comes out, because you can see it's... So now that I've got the, the hex key out, you can take this out. When that's out, you can now undo those two screws undo those two screws there, take the front plate off and when you take the front plate off then you can take the rubber off without damaging it like I've done. Once you get inside and I've taken the front cover off and then you undo the six screws, the, the black screws don't bother with the, the silver ones but there's, there's six screws around there Get that cover off. This is what you'll find inside. So the normal operation is when you lift the lever up, when you lift the lever up, it left-handed. When it operates that mechanism there and that opens the pin. And what happened with mine, I imagine it just got full of metal or wood shavings or whatever else got in there. And that pin doesn't, that doesn't roll anymore. And if it doesn't roll, you can't get the blade out. So what you're trying to do is free that up. I've covered mine in spray-on lubricant, WD-40 or CRC or whatever brand it was. And I've got it moving again. I had to put a pair of uh, pipe grips on there to move it. And I ended up putting a punch, a metal punch on it and tapping it pretty sharply with a hammer to sort of break it um, or break the rust off and now it's up and running. I hope that is of some use to someone and save the drama of cutting it off. Uh, while you're in there, um, redistribute that grease around as much as you can. Um, may as well do maintenance while you can. Hope that helps.